Hi guys, my name is Nicolette Mashile. I am also known as the Financial Bunny. Welcome to the Financial Bunny TV. Today we're talking all things rule of 72. Now remember that none of my videos constitute as financial advice. If you are looking for financial advice, please speak to somebody that is certified and registered with the FSCA. So what is the rule of 72? Well, basically the rule of 72 is a financial shortcut. It allows you to determine how long it will take for you to double your money in an interest bearing account it is very important to understand that that calculation especially for compounding uh, uh, interest uh, bearing accounts can become a very difficult calculation so what the ruler 72 is it takes out the complex in complication and it gives you a simple shortcut for you to be able to do this now typically we know that interest rates will go and have a rate of return between six to up to maybe eight percent and that's where the rule of 72 really shines after those or before, so if your interest-bearing account is going to give you a rate of return below 6 or is going to give you a rate of return above 8%, you do need to slightly adjust the rule. So it may become the rule of 73 or the rule of uh, 72 or 69 based on how far you are from this range of 6 to 8%. But generally, we know that if you are looking for an interest-bearing account, a majority of them, first and foremost, our first step or stop for most of us is the bank sector and the banking sector is generally around those types of figures when it comes to the rate of return now how does it work oh before I get into that you can only use the rule of uh, uh, 72 for compounding interest bearing account and not simple interest for the reason being with simple interest they simply work out the interest based on the 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 the, 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 the capital that you have put in so that's where you're getting your your interest right whereas with the compounding the rule of 72 works with that because it looks also at the future value of money and the only way to be able to do that over in a compounding um um, interest it shows you how much money you're going to make every single month adding on the interest that you're making over the other interest right so let's talk a little bit about what the actual formula or the calculation is so assuming you've got a hundred thousand rand that you're going to put into an interest bearing account let's say for instance we use the fnb money maximizer right um money maximizer so you want to find out when will i be able to double my hundred a thousand rand so that it becomes two hundred thousand rand now let's assume again that the percentage or the rate of return is eight percent so you are getting eight percent from the bank as your annual rate of return so the simple the the, the the formula is actually very simple you take 72 and you divide it by eight and you will get the number of years that it will take for you to be able to double up your money so it's not just a hundred rand because people then say to me or a hundred thousand people then say to me but what if your money is eighty thousand but what if your money is forty thousand the amount doesn't matter the amount of money that you've got doesn't matter. What matters is the actual percentage or the rate of return that you're going to get from the actual bank. That's what actually matters. And that's what you've obviously got to look at, right? So if you take 72, right? Oh, this, this pen doesn't want to write, guys. I'm so sorry. If you take 72 and you divide it by 8%, right? You're going to get nine years. So essentially, we're saying that if the rate of return is 8%, from whichever interest-bearing account you're going to be putting your money into, you are going to take nine years for you to be able to double that money. Now, further limitations of the rule of return. Again, for many people, they've complained that the, 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 or the rule of return, the rule of 72 does not always take inflation into account. So people say, yes, granted, your money would have doubled up and it will be, you know, 200,000 rand after nine years, but you need to adjust it to the inflationary rate to get the real value of your money so it may sound great for you to think oh after nine years i'm going to actually have um um, um a, 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 a two hundred thousand but remember that two hundred thousand after nine years is going to buy you far less than what 200,000 would buy you today. So in as much as it's great for you to be able to use as a strategy to figure out how, how many years it's gonna take for your money to double up, you've gotta also factor in the fact that there is inflation. Inflation is the increase of life, basically the increase of the price of goods and services. So you'll hear a lot of people talking about the, the cost of living today is high. It is because prices of the things that we buy on a daily basis, like fuel, like staple foods, 
those prices have gone up. We've seen inflation even in rental prices or, or, or landlord costs. So even within the, the, the property space, there is inflationary rate that actually happens. I think with, uh, with property sitting at 2.9, I think. Um, so you do see an increase in the cost of actually owning rental property, which landlords often have to take on their chin. So all of those things, remember them when you are working out how long it's going to take for your invested money that's supposed to earn you an interest, how long it's actually going to take for it to um, double up. You can also, again, use the inflationary rate. So assuming the inflationary rate is maybe 4% or 4.5%, right? You can take, if this is a constant uh, in, uh, 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 um inflationary rate you can take that amount so divide again 72 divide by 4.5 and you will figure out how long it will take for your money to actually halve in terms of its value so basically you can work the system the backwards to be able to get that type of calculation i'm hoping that i've given you some level of insight in terms of how you can use this financial shortcut called the rule of 72